Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I thought I would just make a really quick short video to show you the typical state of my build areas. <laughs> As I thought some of you might actually get kind of an enjoyment out of it. Uh, I know everything. I usually try to keep it really clean on the camera as much as possible, but I'm not always successful at that. Uh, anyway, like I said, just a really quick short video. Uh, I'm going to take the next day or two probably and do some cleanup. But uh, here next, we're going to do some quick builds. And as, as many people have been asking, I'm going to do the, a real quick small build after my uh, pick bin video. <laughs> uh, showing everybody how to build this traffic signal. Um, what it is, I'm showing you, this isn't the traffic signal we're going to be building. This is my version of the traffic signal. Right here. And this is where I got the idea to do everything that I did. And I just wanted to show everybody this. What this traffic signal is and what it came from is the Ghostbusters set. And that was set number 75827. Again, that's 75827. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I always thought it was a really interesting looking uh, traffic signal. But to me, it was... It wasn't finished, I guess would be the best way I could put it. Uh, and I, I mean, I liked it, but I didn't. So I came up with my version. So anyway, this is the, like I said, Ghostbusters version. And here is mine. Now, all I actually did is I added uh, some smooth tiles to it. I also added a back to the traffic signal sign itself. And what I'm actually looking at doing, instead of how they did their little sign here, for the one way. What I'm looking at doing is either clipping some signs on mine throughout on all the different intersections or I was contemplating putting the street signs up on top of it like this. Still kind of on the fence about it but uh, either way like I said it's it's something that I'm, I'm still debating on so they're still technically not 100% complete but anyway let's start with the build process. Anyway, here we have all the pieces laid out uh, to show you what I actually use to build that uh, traffic signal uh, pole and light. Um, and the first thing that you're going to start with is you're going to take both of these. And I'm sorry, I am horrible with the names. Uh, I don't know the actual parts. Uh, at some point, I need to start trying to learn them so when I do these videos, I can give them to you. But anyway, take one of these. Then you take this uh, modified plate here, and you put that on there like so. So now it's one continuous piece. And then you take your other one, you put it on the front of that like so. So now you've got your basic pole started. And then to give it the base, we're going to take our 1x4 plate, pop that on there, take this modified 1x4 plate, put that on there, and then I put this 1x4 tile on top of that. <clears throat> then I take the foot here, and I put this uh, light blue-gray cheese wedge piece on the front of that. And the reason I did the discoloration, uh, I think I've said it before, but like where I'm at, I, I work at an airport, but uh, take this 1x2 brick and put that piece on top of there. And at the airport, and I've I would imagine it's probably the same anywhere. Uh, all the street lighting poles that we do, we have breakaway couplings at the base. And they're a slightly different color uh, than the actual poles themselves. And that was my reasoning behind changing the color there for the base. But anyway, now we take that and put that on there like so. So your pole will actually be clicked on the ground with that on it. And now that we have that, let's put that face down. And we're going to take these little uh, wedge pieces, or not wedge, but grip pieces, we'll call them, and put one here and one there on a slight angle. And what you're going to do, as you can already see with this piece, you just kind of take it and bend it a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to remember what this is called. I believe it's a 12L uh, tube. This is a tube. It's hollow. Um, I'm not sure on that, though. I'll have to look, but it, it's... This piece, if you, there again, if you look up the Ghostbusters set, 
uh, the Ghostbuster set being 75827. This is the exact same tube that they used in that set. So if you go to Bricklink, you can easily find that piece just by looking up that set number. Anyway, now that we have the basic pole down, I'm going to show you how I do my traffic signal part of it. Now with that, I always call this like a robot body. <clears throat> you're going to take this and you're going to put another one of those little uh, grip pieces in the top of it, like so. And then because you only have two studs and we need three for the traffic signal itself, we're going to take one of these uh, black headlight bricks and we're going to put it on like that. So you can see that nice and clearly. Now where this is recessed, we take our one by one tile, yellow, and put that on there on the bottom. And then we put a one by three on either side. So now you got that. And then we take and we put our transparent red plate, transparent yellow plate, and then our transparent green plate. And put them in the line like that. Now to me, this is not a truly finished traffic light until you get the back on it. Because to me that looked horrible. If you're going to leave it that way, which I do want to point out, if you want to have the traffic light, if, so if you don't have to make as many of these, uh, have lights on both sides, you can actually very easily put a 1x2 plate in there and then it makes this all the same height and then you could put three more studs on that side. So in, in that situation you would have uh, a double sided traffic light. Me personally because I'm putting four of these at any intersection I wanted them only to have colors on the one side. So what I did to do that <clears throat> is I take these little technique pins and I slide them in the hole, which is a little tricky. Let me get that. There we go. Now you can put that back in there. And then you take your plate, now that you have something for it to grab to, and you snap that on there. So now the traffic signal looks totally complete to me. That's why I did that that way. And now you can take and snap that on the end of your light pole, and you have your traffic signal. Anyway, uh, as always, I thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Um, over the weekend, as you can see at the beginning of the video, uh, my build space has gotten quite disastrous. <laughs> would be the nicest way to put it. So I'm probably going to be just doing a few small builds like this uh, over the next few days while I'm trying to get things cleaned up and back in order so I can start making a little more progress on my city. Uh, as from all the stuff that I've been working on and building, I've just got parts scattered everywhere and it's making it harder and harder to work. So, like I said, expect to see some more small build videos like these coming your way. Anyway, as always, thanks for coming to Bevan's Bricks. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.